Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you some of my Camtasia Studio editing hacks. So these are things that I do personally to save time and just to make things easier when I'm editing. I've edited probably uh, over 2,000 videos now, probably more. And um, I'm gonna show you how I've, what I do in Camtasia to make things easier for me, to make the process easier. Okay, so let's get into it. One of the first things I can say is make sure to have an intro and an outro ready to go. So here, all I do is import my intro and the outro video, they're already completed. In the very beginning, you know, I was making my own intro and making my own outro, and that just made things a lot longer. It made the process a lot longer because I would need to take a certain text and put it in, and then, you know, add the music and just be really manual about it. But when you do it this way, when you already have them created, you just plug them at the beginning and at the end. So this is my intro and this is the outro and they're already ready to go. I just need to place them in. All right, so the second thing is about audio. So when you're editing the audio, like let's say I'm doing a tutorial like this, the audio is generally going to be the same throughout the whole video because I'm mainly talking in the same tone. I'm not going really high or really low. Uh, what you can do is this little tip that I'm gonna teach you right now. So the manual way of doing this is clipping, like going through and clipping out your um, your video and then going through and editing out each piece of audio. If you do it in the beginning, this will save you time and I'll show you what I mean. So you wanna highlight the, the audio that you want to fix up and every time that I'm doing a tutorial like this, I'm recording on the Blue Yeti microphone and then I head over to the audio section, which is here, and I click enable noise removal, and then it makes it turn a little bit orange here, you can see, and I raise the audio just a little bit, not too high. So you saw that when I did that, it did it for the whole thing. And when you do that, that saves you time because then you don't need to do it for each clip when you're editing. And I'll reverse the process and show you the hard way so that you can understand. So I just showed you the easy way. You just highlight the whole thing before you start clipping everything. Um, click the audio, click en enable noise removal and raise the levels on, all, on the whole thing. Now, I'll just delete what I just did. So I'll take that and I'll, put, I'll revert it back. So let's say I've just started editing and I don't know this tactic, right? So let's say I'm going here. I'm just gonna clip that out, right? Just pretending I'm editing as normal. Editing, right? Click that and then highlight. Click that, delete that part. And then let's just do it one more time just so I can show you. Now this is what I used to do, which would take a long time. So, okay, so let's say I've, I've edited a little bit and I need to fix the sound. So um, what I would normally do back then is I would click on this first one and then I'd go click enable noise removal and then raise it up, right? And then I go to the second one, click enable noise removal and then raise it up. So you can see how tedious this can be if you don't do the method that I just showed you. If you had gone just in the beginning, highlighted it, and then done the enable noise removal and raised it all as a whole, you don't need to go into each little snippet clip and do it for each one. So that is tip number two. The third tip is when you're trying to get the proportions correct, and I'll show you what I mean. So I use this uh, sketch motion rectangle a lot in the videos. If you watch our tutorials, pretty much use it in every video. And what it does is it draws a rectangle 
around whatever you want and I usually put it around me so around the video box just because it looks cool and it just it makes it a lot cleaner and I just really like the look of it now I'm I've gotten really good at um, sizing it and getting the proportions right on each side but in the beginning I wasn't very good at it so here is an easy way to get the sizing done really quickly so let's say you want this to go evenly around me the box right so you have the the sketch here on the timeline you want to head over here and switch to full screen mode this will make the whole thing really big and then you can now see it a lot cleaner and a lot easier so that you can measure it out a lot better because when you're trying to do it from far away the dimensions you don't know which is bigger and which is smaller so you can see it was a lot easier to do uh, when it's full screen than when it is a lot smaller so if you see if I try to do it here it would take me a lot longer than if I had just put full screen and then uh, sized it accordingly. The next thing is using the copy and paste tool on your keyboard. So a lot of the times I'm copying and I'm pasting and you know it takes a lot longer when you have to go file, copy, or sorry, edit copy and then edit paste, right? A quick way that you can do this is if you go control C and then control V so you just press those two buttons and then it does it really quickly and then you can have another copy of it really quick so I prefer using those uh, cues on the keyboard it just saves a lot of time when you are copying and pasting um, when you're editing on your timeline so the fifth thing is using the highlight um, you, highlighting when you need to move a bunch of clips at once so when you get into a really good edit you can have like a bunch of small clips everywhere and there's like a lot of moving pieces and let's say for instance so I'm just gonna chop this in half and let's say okay I decided to move a certain part and now I have to shimmy everything over now the old way is I would actually move each piece one at a time but that can take forever and you might make a mistake and misalign things and then you know the editing is off so what you can do is highlight everything and move it all at once so that everything stays together where you want it so how you do this is you basically take your mouse and you highlight everything and then you move it all over. You see how everything's moving as one unit? You can just easily, again I'll show you, just take the mouse, hold down, there's like a rectangle blue that's coming over and then you just highlight all the pieces that you need and move it all together, right? So let's say I moved it there and then I wanted it to be closer, I highlight it again and then move everything over. Also another thing is when you're working on the timeline and you have a lot of pieces, you can see that when I scroll down here I can't see this top piece. Uh, one thing that you can do is squish these tracks down so that it makes it easier. Now if you have more than five pieces um, then you can't see them all at once but at least you can see the most that you can so you can see five tracks at once if you squish these all down all right guys well those are my six editing hacks for Camtasia studio these are things that I do on a daily basis while I'm editing it just makes things a lot easier and a lot smoother so try them out in your videos if you enjoy these videos, every Wednesday I do these types of editing videos where I'm creating or talking about film gear, just things to do with filming and editing. So if you guys want to check that out, head to the description below and the playlist will be there for you. Alright guys, if this helped you out in any way, please let me know by giving us a like, a comment, a subscribe. All that would be very much appreciated. Alright guys, well thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video. Back from the dead.